If 2020 was a chair, it would be this one. My other chair broke, which has to be a good sign for this series of player season reviews, but what can you do? Last season, 36 players suited up in an Avs jersey for at least one NHL game. You remove the five goalies because, let's face it, I'm not going to do player reviews for goalies. That gets you down to 31. Then, when you cut out all the players that are no longer with the Avs, 22 players remain. The first of which, the least amount of games played in an Avs jersey of their skaters, is Connor Timmins. Timmins' case is somewhat unique. It's actually not that unique to the Avs, very similar to the old Joey Hishin, if you remember him. He had not played a competitive game for over a year and a half coming into preseason for this year. He was dealing with concussion issues for the entirety of what was supposed to be his first pro season, and there was a question mark. Nobody knew exactly what he was going to be once he stepped back on the ice for Avs training camp. Thankfully, it would appear that he is everything he was before the injury, having an excellent camp all the way through impressing the coaches so much that thanks to an Ian Cole recovering from offseason surgery, he even managed to make the Avs opening night lineup. And while Timmins' case is a little bit special being a little bit older because of that missed year, the last second round pick for the Avs to make the NHL in their first year pro was Chris Bigra back in 15-16. So it's not something that happens very often. While making the NHL at all was impressive for Timmins, it would be short-lived as he would play just two games with the Avs before being reassigned to the Eagles in the AHL. The transition down to the AHL seemed to fit Timmins perfectly as the second he got down there, his game started to show well, picking up two points in his first three games. It didn't take long to see that Timmins' proof of concept worked in the AHL. He played the exact same way he did in juniors, relying heavily on his IQ, reading plays, and understanding the ice to create, and also play defense. I was particularly impressed how effective he was all over the ice. Particularly for the Avs, his breakout ability is going to be key, but he also understands the offensive zone very, very well. Take a look at this play here. This is Timmins on the front side of this play, and he's already reading it and recognizing that Bakersfield has overloaded the far side of the ice. So when this puck does work up the boards to his D partner, he has the confidence to start calling for the puck before his D partner already even received it. So I'm tapping his stick there calling for it for a first year pro that's a lot of confidence in himself and it's the right read as he receives the puck you see he has a gigantic amount of space to step into he uses it winds up and fires a goal into the net by mid-november timmons seemed to have the ahl on cruise control picking up points with regularity it was just easy for him on the defensive side things weren't perfect but they were more than serviceable they were solid to good of course some things to work on I'd like to see him take a few less penalties at that level, and there is the knock on him, which is his skating, which is something I do want to talk about a little bit. His skating is clunky. His footwork is not very good, but he makes it work for him. He's able to get around the ice okay for the most part. His top speed is never going to be great, and that's the big concern. He can get beat wide in a straight line. And that's something that he has to play around, and does play around well with his IQ and positioning. But I want to show you this clip, that even with the issues in his skating, he can still make it work, at least at the AHL level. We've seen it. Timmons has just received a pass from his blue line partner McDonald here, and he's able to settle the puck down and sucker the forward on him in. This isn't a Kale McCarr level head fake or anything, but it's enough to create room for himself as he drives the puck back to safety and is able to get around his man and find a little bit of space. He continues to protect the puck well and drive into the open areas to help create a chance for the Eagles on this play. It does break down a little bit as he ultimately throws this puck into the center, but he gets rewarded for creating a play and the puck ends up in the back of the net eventually. So if you put him in a drag race, he's probably not going to win the race very often. But in a contained situation, a controlled zone entry, a controlled zone exit, in situations where you're set up in a zone, his skating does him just fine. Honestly, Timmons' biggest issue right now isn't his skating, it's his injury history. Halfway through December, Timmons would take a lower body injury that would hold him out for over a month 
missing some critical time just as he was really starting to roll into his role in the AHL. The good news is, again, when he returned, the on-ice product was the same or even better than before. I think Timmons pretty well established that on the ice, he's as NHL-ready as one can be. Down the stretch of the season, Timmons put up 11 points in 13 games for the Eagles, just coming up huge for them. It was apparent how much better he alone made the Eagles' blue line. Obviously, COVID cut things short for the AHL and put a bunch of wrenches in this season for a lot of players. Timmons is just one of the many, missing more potential playing time in his first year pro. And his strong season continued into the NHL bubble. Not only did the Avs end up taking him into the bubble as an extra defenseman, he ended up playing a couple of games. It's clear Bednar likes the kid if he's willing to play him in the second round of the playoffs. So congrats to Timmons. Got into two playoff games as well. The big problem once again crept up, though. He took a hit along the boards in the second game, looked a little shaken up for it, and did not return. While nothing official has been released by the Avs on the state of Connor Timmons, the fact that it's a non-story leads me to believe that he is fully healthy at this point, and I'm going to assume that until I hear otherwise. Nonetheless, losing out on potentially another playoff game, or possibly even helping the Avs into the conference finals, because he got hurt, not a great look, especially if it was something to do with his head and concussions knowing his history. And while that season ending is obviously not one that Timmons or the Avs wanted, his year of on-ice product is still excellent. On the season, Timmons had 3 goals and 24 assists for 27 points in 40 AHL games, and he also added two NHL regular season and two NHL playoff games played. Based on his season as a whole, I'm going to give Connor Timmons a grade of B+. His on-ice product absolutely deserves an A, but availability is a skill and one that Timmons is struggling with. I also knocked him just a tiny bit for his first two games in the NHL. I know it's hard to fault a kid for that, but... There were a couple of major mistakes in that first two games. With all that being said, you should still absolutely be hype on the kid. When you look at points per game, Connor Timmons was the most productive Avs prospect in the AHL, outproducing players like Logan O'Connor, Martin Kaut, and Shane Bowers. So the production was absolutely there at the AHL level. Most NHL teams would have this guy as a block for their NHL lineup next season. The Avs? Don't. And we'll see how things shake out. If Byram makes the team, it's going to be hard to fit Timmons in. If Byram doesn't, Timmons probably has a good chance at making it himself. But whether it takes another year or not to clear up the room to get Timmons in, he is coming. There's really not a lot left to prove for Timmons. If he can stay healthy, he's going to be in the NHL soon enough. Once he's in the NHL, we find out if he sticks or not. That's all there is to it. That is the end of this player's season review. Thank you for watching. Ton more to go, as I said at the top of the video. Excited to break down all of these Avs players. I am Rudo, and yes, I have ordered a new chair. Lunchtime, come on, grab your friends. We're going to the playoffs again with me.